This is no place for the timid. Punishing terrain and brutal conditions require athletes with remarkable strength, stamina, and a willingness to overcome fear in the name of breaking boundaries. Equally fundamental to the rider's role in progressing motocross is developing the most advanced head protection available. Introducing the Moto9 Flex, a helmet purpose-built to provide progressive energy management during low, mid, and high-speed impacts. So the inspiration for the Moto9 Flex started with the, um, how do we take a great helmet in the Moto9, let's do an amazing job testing, and get a flexible liner that can adapt to people's heads like we've learned on the bell bike side. Uh, what we found was by doing this and segmenting the inner liner and using different materials, we found a system that adapts to heads, and we're just blown away by how well it did on energy management. So we just kept going and going, looking for different materials and different uh, densities and durometers, and uh, came up with this amazing foundation for Moto9 Flex. The Moto9 Flex is the most technically challenging off-road helmet that Bell has ever produced. We have a three-layer progressive layering system. Each layer is a different material and a different density. Progressive layering is a method for managing a wide variety of impact velocities. We're doing that by combining three different materials, each having their own purpose. A good analogy for progressive layering is a trophy truck. So they're going over small, medium, and big bumps. So our helmet is, uh, has three different materials. Primarily, uh, the EPO and EPP are doing kind of the, the smaller and mid-sized bumps. EPS is doing the big energy impact. So, you know, put them all together and we're able to get a system that uh, performs a wide range across the board uh, impact protection. The Moto9 is already well known for its great ventilation. With the Moto9 Flex, we were able to improve upon that. In between its six movable panels, we were able to remove as much material as possible, resulting an incredibly cool feeling, well-ventilated helmet. So one of the things we're really excited about is adaptive fit. Normally helmets are like, a, it's a rigid head form. So it's a symmetrical head form, it's smooth, and people's heads are far from that. This helmet with the inner liner that's segmented allows it to adapt to different proportions. One of the features I'm most excited about is that it's intended to reduce rotational injuries. On a rotational impact, you're hitting the ground or any other foreign object at an angle, and that causes your head and your skull and your brain inside to rotate, and that can cause serious injuries. The Moto9 Flex was designed with an inner liner system that can rotate relative to the middle and outer layers. Those critical first few milliseconds where the inner liner is slipping relative to the other two liners is crucial at reducing the transfer of rotational energy. In the Advanced Concepts Group, our ultimate goal is driving helmet innovation. Uh, we want to reduce energy to the head as a whole. Part of reducing the energy to the head as a whole is rotational violence, which is a big topic as of late. Uh, we are driving to understand what's going on inside the head, and by that we have built our own internal test rigs to understand how the impact transpires through high-speed video, through accelerometers and measuring devices, as well as computer simulations. Hi, my name is Alex Shella, and I perform all of the prototype testing for the Motor 9 Flex, primarily focusing on low, mid, and high energy velocities, as well as rotational testing, which we can also do here in our facility. Our prototype Flex samples are already showing better results than the stock Moto 9, which is rare for, for a development project this complex. So the best part about having the test lab here in, uh, at BRG Sports is we can really connect with the product development and creates this little feedback loop, which allows us to iterate samples quickly, create prototypes, and test them not only to the standards that we have to meet, but to our own internal standards of rotational, low, mid, and high speed, as well as other environmental conditions quickly, so that at the end of the day, it can get on the rider where it matters most. The Moto9 Flex builds off our already incredible Moto9 helmet. It takes the Moto9 platform and adds to it the most technically complex impact liner system we've ever produced. So here at the Dome, we have over 400 years of helmet expertise. So we've got industrial designers, graphic designers, mechanical engineers, model making, test techs, um, all focused 100% on helmet product development for the different sports that we serve. We here at Bell are dedicated to leveraging our capabilities here and our years of experience to developing product to help further our sport. And what we're trying to do is develop, and we've, we've successfully done with the Moto9 Flex, to develop a product that actually provides protection across the board. Whether it's a low speed tip over, a mid speed crash, or high speed crash, we're committed to furthering the sport of motocross and off-road racing, and with the new Moto9 Flex, that's exactly what you get. Jeremy Martin, James Stewart, Cooper Webb, Taylor Robert, Roddy Madison. Our athletes thrive where most of us would never dare to go. With a proven design, 
adaptive fit, rotational and progressive energy management, the new Moto 9 Flex establishes a higher threshold for rider protection, continually pushing the sport of motocross and off-road racing in a forward direction.